everybody, Ashton here again with Ten Cents with another fragrance review. Today we're taking a look at a release from the house of Yves Saint Laurent. It is Loam Old Team, released last year, 2016. Uh, I've heard from some of you guys online on Facebook that you don't enjoy the presentation part of videos. But we're going to do it anyway. So we'll go ahead and check that out and then we'll jump into the fragrance itself. Also, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'm going to say that again at the end of the video. It's a call to action. This one goes out to all the people that hate presentations and videos. So here's the box. It says Lone Old Team on it. It looks like an Yves Saint Laurent box. Whatever, you know what they look like. Here's the bottle. Look at that. It also looks like a Lone bottle. That's crazy. Looks the exact same, but it has a black stem. And the juice is kind of a cool light blue color. And look, Yves Saint Laurent on the cap. Batch code on the sticker. Also a batch code on the box. Match them up. Make sure it's all good. Look at that. It has an atomizer. And it works. That's the presentation for the Lomo team. Nice. Alright everybody, let's not bullshit. This is a people pleaser fragrance. It's made for the masses. It's made to be pleasant. It's made to smell nice. It's made to get compliments. That automatically means that a certain group, a certain faction of the fragrance community is going to hate this and call it generic. That's just the way it is. That's the fragrance game for you, as they call it. Somebody calls it that. I don't know. Um, personally, I don't get wrapped up in that. I enjoy a generic, people-pleasing scent just as much as the next guy. And in my opinion, this isn't really generic anyway. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. This opens up with ginger and grapefruit, which should be really familiar to you because ginger and grapefruit are two of the most common notes in versatile, popular, compliment-getting men's fragrances. And this has that right off the top. There's also cardamom in there, which gives it a nice little bit of spice to kind of set it apart from some of the other fragrances that use those two notes. Obviously, Lana Wee Delone uses cardamom. Does this maybe smell a little bit like Lana Wee Delone? No, of course not. Don't be daft. They're completely different. This also has a nice warm rose note that comes in as this dries down. And there's a rounded cedar note in the base, which blends really nicely with the fragrance. The cedar doesn't have that bite that cedar has sometimes, but it works with the rose really well. And the rose is not feminine, so don't get freaked out by that. Ultim is more aromatic and fresh than anything. And for me, it's a very versatile fragrance. You can wear this casually, you could wear it on a date, you could wear it to the office, you could even dress this up if you wanted to. I don't think you can dress it up as much as a lot of other fragrances like Dior Homme Intense or even Lana Wee Delhomme, so you can't go black tie with this, but you can rock a casual suit and make it look good and smell good too. Does that make sense? For those that care, and who doesn't, this gets pretty good longevity on my skin. I got seven plus hours every time that I wore it, and I got a couple hours of decent projection before it starts to settle in closer to the skin. Projection is more on the average side. It's not something that's gonna fill up a room, but it's not something that you spray on and then it's gone within 30 minutes like shitty Jimmy Choo Man. So that's a positive. And honestly, with designer scents, uh, they usually don't have great projection or performance when it comes to the fresher side of things. Of course, there are a ton of heavier designers that last a long time, but if we're talking things that are on that versatile, compliment getting fresh side, usually they don't get great performance. So at worst, this is in the middle of that kind of range. Uh, but for me, it actually performs pretty well. The first few times that I wore this, I would just spray it on and just smell myself throughout the day. Not in a weird way, just in a checking out my fragrance kind of way. And I really, really loved it. It was like a, a head over heels in love with this fragrance. I thought it was great. And after wearing it, you know, four or five times, that kind of died down a little bit. I still really, really like it. I really, really enjoy it. Um, I just don't love it as much as I did the first few times. It's like having a relationship where at first, you're head over heels in love, everything's crazy passionate, and then after a little bit, it starts to die down, and it's still nice, but it's not like it used to be. And that's how this is, and that happened fairly quickly with me. Now, all that being said, this is still my favorite flanker of Loam, 
since La Nuit de Lone, and it's really not close. So this is a successful release in my opinion, because I really like it. I've had my wife smell this multiple times. She gives it a big thumbs up, says that it smells great, so she loves it. Um, thumbs up from both of us. This though is not really made for people that are way into niche fragrances or even people that probably have a large collection because they'll already have things that accomplish what this does. Uh, this is more for people that want something in that vein of Blue de Chanel, Loam, Sauvage, um, things along those lines. Something that's versatile, something that's a compliment getter, something that you can grab, spray, and go and not have to worry about anything because everyone around you will like the way you smell and it will work in almost any situation. You can find this at pretty much any Sephora across America and get a free sample vial. So I would suggest if you're interested in this, just go to Sephora, get a sample vial, and wear it a few times and see how it works on you. If you really like it, then you can go ahead and pick up a bottle. All right, everybody, that's what I've got for you for the Gnome Old Team. Let me know what you think about it. I'm sure most of you have smelled this either from a tester or a sample, or a lot of you probably own it as well. Um, this one is still fairly expensive online, so it will probably be a little while before it becomes truly discounted. I think 100 mils online is still around $80, so that's a little less than you would have to pay in store, but it's not a huge discount. So do sample this one first. Do make sure that you really want it before you pull the trigger. Let me know what you guys think. As always, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.